Catherine Monvoisin, a name etched in the annals of crime, was not your average fortune teller. Born in the heart of 17th century France, Monvoisin's story is one that intertwines with the tapestry of a nation's history. She began as a midwife, a profession often associated with nurturing life. However, the corridors of her life would soon veer towards a darker path. Monvoisin's talents extended beyond midwifery and fortune-telling. She found herself in the epicenter of the notorious Affair of the Poisons, a scandal that rocked the court of King Louis XIV to its very core. Monvoisin was no mere spectator in this affair. She was a key player, providing her high-profile clientele with a range of illicit services. Love potions, poisons, and clandestine black masses were all a part of her repertoire. Her services extended far beyond the realm of fortune-telling, delving into the murky world of poisons and love potions. Monvoisin's clientele were not ordinary folks. They were members of the French nobility, seeking her deadly concoctions and black masses. These were the heady days of the 17th century, where superstition and magic often intermingled with power and privilege. The French court was no exception. Madame Monvoisin, as she came to be known, was not just a fortune teller. She was a purveyor of the illicit and the supernatural. Her expertise extended to brewing potent poisons and love potions, a service that found a ready market among the nobles of the time. These were tools of manipulation and control used to navigate the treacherous waters of courtly politics and personal vendettas. But perhaps the most shocking aspect of her trade was her role as a priestess in black masses. These were dark, secretive rituals purported to harness demonic forces. Clients would seek her out, hoping to gain favor or exact revenge through these unholy ceremonies. The French nobility, it seemed, was ensnared in a web of black magic and poison that Monvoisin had deftly spun. This dark underbelly of the French court came to light in what is now known as the Affair of the Poisons. It was a scandal of epic proportions, one that threatened to destabilize the very foundations of the monarchy. Monvoisin found herself at the center of this storm, her activities exposing a network of murder, intrigue and witchcraft that reached into the heart of the French court. The scale of the scandal was such that it sent shockwaves through the corridors of power. It revealed not just the extent of Monvoisin's crimes, but also the complicity of those in the highest echelons of society. It painted a chilling picture of a court steeped in fear, superstition, and a deadly quest for power. Her activities eventually led to her downfall, as the law finally caught up with her. Monvoisin's dark reign was about to end, setting the stage for a trial that would further expose the rot within the French court. In 1679, Monvoisin was arrested, unveiling a network of black magic, murder, and intrigue that reached into the heart of the French court. This arrest led to a trial that would shock the nation. The courtroom was abuzz with the echoes of her deeds as the depth of her crimes was laid bare. She had provided poisons, love potions, and even performed black masses for her clients, many of whom were members of French nobility. The revelations from her trial sent tremors through the court, shaking the very foundations of the French aristocracy. As the trial progressed, the extent of her influence became alarmingly clear. This was not the work of a lone wolf, but a well-connected and influential figure within the society. In 1680, Catherine Monvoisin was executed, marking the climax of the Affair of the Poisons. Her death led to a crackdown on witchcraft and poisoning, forever changing the French court's attitude towards such practices. Monvoisin's story did not end with her death. It continued to echo through the corridors of history. The scandals surrounding her and her associates sparked a wildfire of intrigue and speculation, fueling countless historical and fictional accounts. These narratives served as a stark reminder of the intersection of power, fear, and superstition in early modern Europe. Monvoisin's legacy is a chilling testament to the lengths people will go to satisfy their desires and ambitions. Her story, steeped in dark arts and high society intrigue, serves as a cautionary tale, warning us of the dangerous allure of power. The affair of the poisons, with Monvoisin at its epicenter, led to a crackdown on witchcraft and poisoning, forever altering the course of French history. Even today, Catherine Monvoisin, a dark figure from the past, continues to fascinate us, reminding us of the dangerous allure of power, 
and the depths to which one can sink in its pursuit.